Hey guys, um, today's video I just wanted to share something with you guys. Um, I just recently did a um, seminar on bears down at the camera store here in Calgary and um, I just wanted to address two things today. Um, I have an example of a safe shooting distance and what I've actually done to, to accomplish this uh, kind of this environmental portrait and I also wanted to talk about portraits versus environmental portraits. So take a look here, uh, let me know what you think. Okay, here guys is my portion of the PowerPoint presentation I did down at the camera store there in Calgary. And I wanted to show you this video clip of how far we were away from this polar bear sow and uh, her two cubs. Take a look here. So there's the sow and there's the two cubs. I'll uh, show you that again just in case you, you missed it there. There she is, oop, hang on here. So you could see right there, there's the, the sow and there are the, uh, the cubs. So this is the final image. And um, the reason I'm bringing this up is, you know, I've had questions about, you know, getting too close or, you know, were you safe or that sort of thing. So um, I just wanted to show you um, the formula here and uh, the final image. So here it is. And this is what I was using at the time. So I was using a 7D Mark II which is an APS-C sensor, okay, which is, gives you a 1.6 uh, times um, magnification, okay. And then I was using a 500 here, um, so it would be 1.6 times 500, and then times a 1.4 teleconverter, okay. So the effective focal length here was 1120 millimeters, and then I cropped the image, okay. And the reason why I crop a lot of images is to show, you know, detail. Like you can see detail in the fur, you can see the eyes, a uh, little smile here on the cute little cub. But um, I basically wanted to show you a clear picture of the polar bear. So um, this is just a really quick example here. Um, if you have any questions, you know, drop me a comment in, in the link be below and I'll uh, address it. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about was the trophy shot versus the uh, environmental um, shot okay so you know when wildlife photographers for, first started out they're really looking to get that um, that trophy shot that head and shoulders portrait um, and that sort of thing so um, here is one example of a trophy shot here's an example of an environmental image okay so you know you can see um, where the bear lives okay so um, that's the idea behind that. So not that the, um, trophy shots are, aren't important. Um, but you know, over the last 10 years or so, 15 years, it's been a shift, um, from the trophy shot that you'd see on, on the front page of magazines to more of an environmental image telling a story. So I'm just going to give you another example here. So here's that trophy shot again, gorgeous polar bear looking right at me, making eye contact. And then here's an environmental image. So you got the Ithaca in the background, but you could see here for scale, there's that polar bear, you know, walking towards me, okay? So a great example showing the polar bear's environment, okay? Um, here is another one, cute cub, uh, you know, framed with, the, you know, these spruce boughs and that sort of thing. And then we have another look at an environmental image, okay? Again, polar uh, bear in the foreground, you know, you can see the Canadian Shield here and snow and ice and that sort of thing. Another trophy shot. Now, this is a trophy shot slash uh, behavior shot. So um, not necessarily trophy as per se, like head and shoulders, but it's a real close up um, showing the behavior. So so this grizzly cob, which was about three years old, is um, um, digging up roots. OK, um, so like I said, great behavior shot. And then one of my favorite images here is an environmental portrait. So same bear from the previous slide, but an envirom environmental moody image, okay? Um, so, I mean, this image would even work without the bear, right? Okay. And of course, when I'm shooting, you know, I've got the large telephotos on one camera body and then I've got a uh, wide angle on another. And on the other lens was a 24 to 70, okay? Uh, to eight, and then this was shooting with a 500 f4. So again, another example of an environmental portrait. Um, so you know, showing the environment. Okay, this is another one of my favorite images, but for the for the polar, polar bear species. Okay, 
And, um, you know, here we're showing the Canadian Shield. We're looking the bay in the background, um, you know, just showing the, the harshness of the environment these, these polar bears have to, uh, to go through. Another example of an environmental image that tells the story, you know, if you look down here, uh, we got the, the polar bear and her cub, and then we got the Ithaca, um, you know, again, um, showing the environment. So that was an example of uh, a portion of the uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation at Dino Bears uh, down at the camp store. And uh, I just wanted to give you, you know, just a quick um, snippet of uh, safe shooting distance and uh, portrait versus uh, environmental uh, portraiture. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope this uh, video is helpful. And um, yeah, like I said, drop a comment uh, below and uh, I'll do my best uh, to address them. Thanks for watching.